Morning, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Day in the Life vlogs. Today, it's late, I'm not even gonna lie, it's about half 11. Currently in the warehouse. This is the TFF HQ. If you look above me, you can see the sign up here. I don't know, I thought I'd start vlogging, show you what I get up to in my day in, day, day out of life. This is the studio. And yeah, basically just haven't been putting it in recently in terms of making up excuses for myself, not doing a cold punch, not doing a saunas, not even hitting gym. And yeah, just not a self-destructive kind of mentality, but there's just a lot of things I can be doing better. If that's with business, with my with my personal life, with just putting it in. So I thought I'd record a bit of day in the life. I had to put the vets for my dog. For some reason, for some reason he's losing loads of weight. Don't know why. I booked him in for 3 p.m. I'm doing this first, got the stairs. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my workout and then uh, yeah, we'll get going. Hopefully he's all good, but he's losing a lot of fucking weight. So we'll take you a tour around the whole of the warehouse as well. This is where, you know, we do the podcast, the train and all that sort of stuff. Got the G-Wagon with me today. I should give you a little tutorial around the G-Wag. Let's hit the workout. Yeah, basically, I go through stints in life. I don't know if any of you boys or girls watching go through this, but like, sometimes I'm flying and then other times, you know, I'm just like this. I'm up and down, up and down. I make excuses for myself not to do things. Even this morning, you know, woke up at like seven. I was like, nah, fuck this, back to bed. And then got up about half eight, nine. It's just those little battles that you lose to yourself and it actually has such a negative impact on like your actual life because you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, that, that's an L, that's a loss. And you take that with you through your day to day and then you start slacking off and all this sort of stuff. Something that I massively try not to do. But also there is always ups and downs along the way. It's never smooth sailing. There's pressure, responsibilities, which you have to meet on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes you go through rough patches in life. Sometimes you're just not 100%, 110%. You lose motivation. You feel like you want the ground to swallow you up, but also you have to continue. Yeah, I don't know. I was just in the gym just now and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to create a video, upload it for you people to watch, all of you. It's going to be my little back workout. It's not going to be anything serious, but yeah, I'm just, I just thought I need to get back, back grinding find that discipline again, find that inner self motivation to want to succeed, to want to fulfill all of my dreams and also to keep pushing the limit, pushing the bar, become someone that I'm not right now because right now I'm not the person I want to be. Even though I've done well in life, this isn't the end, this is just a start and uh, you've got to keep pushing, got to keep pushing on, you've got to find things in, in life that motivate you, you've got to want to be the best version of yourself and obviously Sometimes you are gonna have hiccups, but you gotta keep moving. So I smash this back workout, sauna, maybe even cold plunge. I'm a pussy right now. I don't even know if I can get in. I'm so like mentally exhausted, mentally weak right now. And it might might sound like so cringe or cliche, but like I really don't know if I can get in. But let's see, because however I'm feeling right now, it don't fuck him out. Because whatever that is, that's just a mental aspect and you can pass through that. All right, so got some rack pulls right now. Got some rack pulls. It's only 20 on each side, so 40 plus a bar 60. I can go to 100, haven't done it in a minute to be fair, but this, this is just my second set. Even if you don't enjoy the gym, you gotta learn to love it or learn to love to do some sort of fitness, you know, otherwise don't use it, you lose it. And plus like even just doing shit like going for a walk in the morning, get up, get up for a walk in the morning for work instead of waking up, rolling out of bed, 10 minutes work. You're not living, you know, you're just surviving. You're not doing anything for yourself. And that's something that I massively, massive, massively appreciate. It's very, like, if you, for example, if you stop drinking, you stop getting hangovers, you can actually build momentum. And uh, that's why like, a lot of people go sober. And obviously society-wise, drinking is everywhere. You see your mates go for a beer and stuff, but it really has a negative impact on your momentum in life. When, when you're hungover, you just want to eat shit. You don't want to go to gym, you don't want to do anything for yourself, and then you start slacking. And that is why 
I, I'm doing everything. I haven't done it in such like so many months. Not done the sauna, cold plunge, but today the back workout, the stairs, the sauna, maybe the cold plunge, and that's just a W in my opinion. And then you take you take it from there. It's all it's it's, it's about small steps. As as much as everyone thinks like oh you gotta you gotta wake up at this time, you gotta do it. If you wanna change, you gotta do it. But there's no rush as well. You know, growth isn't overnight. It takes a long period of time. So these are rack pulls for the lower back. Oh, you just go up, you drop down, and you're pushing from your lower back. You've got to get minimum 12. Go heavier too. Ah. Come on. Physique update as well. It's just embarrassing. Second set of rack pulls done. I'm out of breath, fuck me. But even, like, look at my hair. I haven't had a haircut in like a month, right? You have to look after yourself. That's all I'm starting to. And I know this already, but you can't give up. You can't give up on yourself. That's a fact. So many people do. Don't compare yourself to other people either. Everyone's going through their own shit in their own little world. But you can't give up on yourself and doing things for yourself. Even if that's go for a walk, you gotta build momentum. You know, we ain't young forever, that's a fact. And plus, ain't no one coming to save us. Always realize that no one, your friend, even if he's doing better than you, he ain't saving you. Parents, they ain't saving you. It's you versus you, gotta make sure that you become the best version of yourself. And it starts whenever you want to start it. But yeah, nice rack pulls, gonna get some more in and then head over to the Smith machine. Fucking bar pulls, even if that's how you call it, but I just, just made it up just then. It's only gonna be a short little back workout. As I said, I'm building fucking momentum. But it's all good, it's all part of it, all part of it. After this, I may do some sort of like single arm rows or something like that, but if I'm honest, like I said, I'm just building myself back up. I've been proper slacking, like one, two days a week gym. And you've got to find that drive, that, that motivation. And obviously it's about being dedicated, but if you get there and you're like, why the fuck am I even here? That's because you don't care, you know what I'm saying? And it's a bit like how I feel right now. Just in life in general, you know, just always, always doing the, the easy options. Shouldn't be eating that, I eat it. Shouldn't drink that, I drink it. That sort of stuff. You have to start somewhere and if you get to a point where a bit, if you get to a point a bit like myself, that's because you, you, you want more. You want more for yourself, but you can't really get there overnight. And, and, that, and that's the thing. Self-discipline, know who you are, fucking always want better for yourself. You're gonna have these, these discussions. You're gonna have these, these dips, the highs and the lows that life brings you to. So you got to keep pushing on, keep motivating yourself and just stay, just stay disciplined. Don't lose yourself, don't fucking self-sabotage, self-disrupt as a majority of people do. Um, and you know, if you slip up, it's, it's okay too. It's okay to fuck up. It's okay to, you know, do things that, that you're not supposed to be doing. But at the end of the day, you have to come to a conclusion. You have to come to the common denominator on what, what's the issues are causing this. And, uh, yeah, put one step in front of the other. These are for the upper back, by the way. And all you gotta do is you lean over it and you drive with your back, with your upper back. And these are good to get some serious back strength on the upper back. Ugh. I'm fucking sweating. I'm starting to feel proper sick now, honestly. This is, uh, this is the kitchen, by the way. Just have a little show around. It's the kitchen, you've got a hob, you've got your shakes, you've got your fridge. This is the sauna cold plunge room. So if I introduce you in, you've got infrared sauna, cooking right now, 59 degrees, and then temperature cooling unit cold plunge. So if I show you, six degrees that's one, by the way. <sighs> I haven't done that in such a long time. <sighs> Just, Sick and tired of making up excuses. Sick and tired of failing. <sighs> Sad enough. So I'm gonna take your boys with me on this journey. I don't know how many daily lives I'm gonna get done. 
I'm gonna try two, three a week again, get back on the grind. I've got these now, which are for my, my lats. Let me show you. These are quite good as well, to be fair. You get a nice little pump. Hold on. Hopefully you can see. Oh, you stand here like this, right? And it's just like that. And you're pulling through on the side here. Sorry, it's a shit angle, but it's just about getting that blood pressure. Getting that blood pressure up. I mean, getting that heart rate up. Oh, and stop being a little fucking bitch. Oh, I've had enough. I've had a fucking enough. 10 minutes on here. I'm sweating. Absolutely sweating out. I'm gonna do the sauna, I'm gonna do the cold plunge too, otherwise it's a failure. <sighs> 10 minutes. <sighs> oh, I'm so on fear. See what degrees it's on. Oh, it's on 66. <sighs> Come on, man, this is it. What I say to myself is, even for the cold plunge, bro, think about the Titanic. They were in minus for ages. If I can't do a minute and a half, three minutes, then I need to butt my ideas up. Also, you should be grateful for where you are in life. Grateful that you can go to the gym. Grateful that you can even walk. Take for granted everything. Take for granted health. But at the end of the day, you don't know what's around the corner. So you've always got appreciative. Anyway, I look fucking disgusting, but this is the rebuild video. We're just gonna keep going from here. I'm gonna get changed and let's go. So basically what happens in here is I just sit down 40 minutes on the clock, 60 plus degrees, 66 right now. I'd stay in here for 20 minutes, jump in a cold plunge, and then go straight back in for another 10. I listen to meditation music, and this is where I just relax. I get off my phone, I just close my eyes, I concentrate on my breathing. And it's just, even this, man. After, all the, after this session, you'll hear me. You'll hear me say, you know, fuck, I need to do that every day. But at the start of this video, you would, you, you would have heard, you know, struggling to even motivate myself, create that discipline, just, and it's such a mental battle with yourself. And that's why you have to build momentum. You have to do things for yourself. You have to stay driven. And there's gonna be times where you're not, but it's about putting yourself back up. However, I say in all of this, it's not over. I still have to sit in here for 30 minutes plus. I still need to get in that cold plunge, which trust me, Ain't no one want to do unless you keep doing it for a while and you start building a habit and routine. So it should be interesting. <laughs> this is what it takes. This is what it takes. Even though this is just sauna, even though this is just gym, it's the battles. It's looking after yourself, it's doing what you need to do. And I'll make sure to keep these up, keep the vlogs up, let you know what I get out from my day to day life. <sighs> like I used to, because I used to be motivated to make content and then I fell off. And that just, that, that's just his you know, I'm not doing this to be fucking 100k views, I'm just doing this to update all of you, doing this for myself. And that's what it's about, you know, as soon as you start doing it for other people, it doesn't work, in my opinion, it, it doesn't. I've been here outside for like a minute. So, back in for the next 10, here we go. Oh, boy it is, I live a life like this. Ah. Genuinely, I feel sick. Like, I need to give myself a minute. <sighs> sort of made me feel sick. But, but yeah, and as I said, I don't, I don't even want to get in now. I don't even want to get in now, but this is the battle towards yourself. This is what makes you, if I'm honest. <sighs> I don't even want to get in. The thing is, I normally jump in as well, but I'm going to have to do with one foot at it, one foot in front of the other. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. It's all about that control. It's all about that control. The breathing, lowering your, lowering your heart rate, and getting it done. Right, what I'm feeling right now, by the way, 
your whole body's you get you're getting like burning pains in your feet in your chest it, it gets better over time but I haven't done this for a while i'm gonna dunk and then get out Come on. I don't know how long that was, but. Oh, oh, does it? Oh, oh, oh. Fucking hell. Get me in. Get me in. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Even if that was a minute, if that was a minute and a half at a push, I'll fucking take it. I don't even care. And then the more you do that, the better you obviously get, you control your pre your breathing better, your body gets used to it too, and obviously you try and better yourself every time. You get one minute and a half, you get a minute, you try from a minute and a half to two, to two to three, then three to five. And then you can have your off days, you don't need to fucking always do sauna cold plunge or do five minutes, three minutes is good enough as well. But what you need to do is every time you do sauna, you gotta get in there, even if you don't want it. Holy shit, and right now, whew, I feel alive, like you're under here, which is either a stroke or, but all jokes aside, like your body, my body's cold as fuck, but you're just like, you're tingling all over. You're on this massive rush. Self accomplishment too, like you fucking got it done. I'll watch this back as well when I upload it and like how self like depleted I was. And now I'm just like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, well done, good on you. And it's about achieving those little milestones of getting those fucking rewards in making sure you do shit and like my body i need i need to work on my body too but this is all it's all a mental battle so i'll be in here for like another five eight minutes and then yeah shower and then job done and i used to do this all the time like at seven in the morning hit gym by nine in the morning i'd be out of here showered cold plunge sauna gym done abs done cardio done and like that seven to nine this morning for me, I was asleep. So if I'm choosing to sleep right now, because I can't be bothered, I'm demotivated. But then the Tommy a few months ago, bang, nine, nine in the morning, he's already done all this shit. If you see what I mean? So that, that morning routine, getting up, getting out, getting it done, has so much more benefit. And it's just, it's pure laziness. It's pure demotivation. It's feeling sorry for yourself. And you gotta get out the rut. And I know if I am not the only guy that goes through this, I'm not the only person in the world that goes through this. And I feel like a lot of people live in it. And I I, I know when I'm in it because it, I'm just not the same person, you know, I'm just not motivated and I don't wanna be that guy who fucking feels sorry for himself as well, right? Always feeling sorry for himself, feels like life is always fucking him over. And in the end of the day, Whatever life throws at you, you've got to roll with the punches, you've got to dodge them, you've got to come back better, stronger, more disciplined, more motivated, and let's fucking go. What a fucking achievement. Wow. Come on, I'm buzzing after that. Let's go, man. This is the fucking rebuild. Oh. Right, this is... Oh, damn. The back muscles. Holy fucking shit. But, um, all jokes aside, this is... I got this all done, all the kitchen and everything, cost like 20 bags or some shit. But yeah, this is just so, I built this whole warehouse obviously for the business, the TFF, the Forex Thunder business, but also if I lost everything, then I can hit gym, do sauna, do cold plunge, do exercise and then rebuild myself. And uh, that's why I did it. And yeah, it, it does work. Uh, yeah, let me get in the shower and stuff, get some food. And uh, I've got to take the dog to the vets at three. Like I said, I don't know if I have said it already, but he's losing bare fucking weight. And normally when dogs lose bare weight like that, he's only one year or four months. It's like some fucking disease, I swear. So oh, I'm praying, man. I'm praying that he's not fucking got anything bad with him, but let's see what happens in it. Oh, let's go. Jeez, look how red I am, fuck me. On my way to go get a trim, I need to shave off all of this fluff on my face. But also, trims always make you feel good. So it's, it's good to always get it done. I haven't had a trim in such a long time. We're talking 
three, four weeks, which I normally get it done every week just to make me feel good about myself. And then I'm gonna get some food inside me. I haven't even eaten yet. And it's 1 p.m. so far. So I always fast till about 2 p.m. really every single day. No need to. Eating's cheating for breakfast, man. Like that's just, I don't know why you need breakfast when you've just woken up. You've restored all the energy. You need to burn all that fat, that all the stored fat and stuff like that too. So yeah, on my way to get a trim. Let's, let's see how this goes. Oh, I can't wait to get a trim, man. And like, I'm so happy I've done this today because I needed to sort my shit out. So you, got, you boys are with me all the way. There he is, the trim. Completed it now. Guys, do you need anything else? Bash. 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 Bash.